Starting out here we have the typical, I'm a beginner streamer and I don't know what I'm doing situation. My air conditioning is on, which is most likely going to be picked up by the microphone. I have a lot of light behind me, and not really any light in front of me, which is where it should be. So the webcam has to compensate for the lighting, and the microphone has to deal with the noise, and you're hearing the microphone. Over here on the left, I have the C922, the brand spanking new pro streaming webcam. Over here on the right, I have the C920, the original workhorse that everyone bragged about and talked about. We're running at a full 1920 by 1080 at 29.97 frames per second. And you can see here over on the right, the C920 is doing a much better job of compensating for the light situation. The background is completely blown out, but you can see a lot more than me of me. And that is important, and you can see the Diablo statue over there is still alright. That's not a statue, but whatever. Over here on the left we have the C922, which seems to focus more on the background. Okay, if I move over here a little bit, it does lighten me up a bit better, so it's mainly just a positioning thing since I have them right next to each other. It still doesn't get me as bright as the C920 does, but it does look a little bit better. If I get in close here, go back, get in close. You can see the autofocus on the C922 doing a lot more work, and from what I can be able to tell, it does work a lot better. I'm going to lean over here a little bit, C920 grabs me, so you can see the difference in sharpness here. And these are all on auto settings. I will be flipping it over to manual, turning off the AC, and fixing the lighting situations. I just want it to be the ultimate, I'm a bad streamer, <laughs> this is what my crappy setup looks like situation. And for movement and frame rate comparison, you can see me waving my hands here. I always like doing this, because this is where Logitech webcams don't often keep up. Both webcams are set to MJPEG and OBS, which is extremely important in the Windows 10 anniversary update. Let's fix everything up and jump into the video. What's going on everyone? My name's Adam Repos Vox. Welcome to another webcam comparison, this time looking at the Logitech C922 over on the left versus the original C920 over on the right. Now, I've kicked things into manual mode versus the original clips, and now you will notice here that the C920 over on the left is much brighter than the C922. This is on manual mode, and both webcams are at minus five exposure. Uh, if I go any higher on the C920, it blows me out. As you can see here, I'll kick it up to minus 4, and my entire face starts getting blown out, so I need to keep it on minus 5. That seems to be the perfect exposure for my current lighting setup. Now, if I kick, since the C922 is darker, if I kick it up to minus 4 over there, suddenly I lose my frame rate. It's just one of the finicky things about the Logitech webcams, is even in manual mode, you just kind of have to balance the settings for the frame rate and normally kicking everything on manual like I have would still maintain the frame rate but no it minus four exposure I am choppy as hell so minus five it is it's a little darker but it actually works now the quality the c922 seems to be a little bit better I'll get a little closer here You can see the various autofocuses kicking into action. The C922 seems to provide an overall more cleaner image, and I'll do the frame rate thing here, and even less blurry at various points if you have the right exposure set, so you need a bright LED panel on you if you want to keep the exposure very low and maintain that frame rate. I have a light sitting up here that, you can see my shadow here, uh, that shines a little light here, but it's not a bright LED panel, and it's not even pointed directly at me. It's kind of pointed up, that way it doesn't totally blow me out either. But they do have some finicky issues. And the C920 for the comparison is set at the MJPEG codec, because on Windows 10 Anniversary and newer, you have issues with codecs with webcams and OBS and things like that. They screwed a lot of things up, but this is how they look, and the C922 seems to provide an overall cleaner image. It looks like a little bit less noise and a little bit sharper, and the autofocus seems to work a lot better, but you get that back-and-forth judder of it autofocusing a lot more. So that's kind of a trade-off there, because the big issue I had with the C920 is the autofocus was just... At times it could be really terrible. Like, 
it, it's a pretty good autofocus system, especially for a tiny little webcam, but it always just seemed like when I wanted it to focus on a certain thing, it just wouldn't. And a lot of complaints I had in some of my videos was I had my big old mic sitting over here in front of my face, and it just would focus on that instead of my face. So, which is why I included that first clip, so you could absolutely see me with no microphone whatsoever. And then this one's fairly out of the way that it is focusing primarily on face. There is no, like, face auto detection unless you jump in, like, the Windows 10 and camera app. Now, as far as a microphone test is concerned, I played a little bit with a background noise at the beginning, and the super aggressive background noise removal on the C920 kicked in, and it just garbled it up to hell. But even without much background noise at all, the C922 mic is leagues better but it's still a webcam mic and it's still pretty bad something you will notice I, I went ahead and kicked on the auto exposure here which kicked the exposure for the c922 back up to minus five which actually looks a little bit brighter i'm fully lit now and the c920 itself seems to want to blow out my face again so i'm gonna kick that back down and now i have to kick it down to minus six to look good the, the exposures don't make a whole lot of sense, but you will notice with auto exposure on and me at minus five and it jumping through all these crazy exposures due to that background there, I, I still have a good frame rate. So I don't know why manual exposure at minus five seems to not work out, but, but also with auto exposure on, you can see how much it's freaking out if you have inconsistent lighting situations, which is why you do not want that. The focal length seems to be the same. The field of view seems to be the same. Again, they're, they're slightly angled differently because they are right next to each other, but this is a quality comparison. Looks pretty good. There's not a ton of differences, which is what I said in my preview video. Like, it's a little bit sharper, the focus seems to grab a little bit better, and you have a much easier time maintaining frame rate and getting the right settings to a degree. But in an in extreme view, like, you're not going to notice these differences. You're not going to notice it at all. You're not going to... Propping this down to a tiny face cam in a gameplay video, you're not going to notice this being slightly sharper than the C920, and you're not going to notice uh, the frame rate being slightly higher at 60 frames per second, so that's worth keeping in mind. I will be doing a full review of the camera, and I'm going to be next recording a background removal comparison between the C922 and the Intel RealSense background removal hardware capabilities, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this brief comparison, again, I just wanted to show you the the footage and hope you enjoyed this video smash the like button if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech videos let me know what else you want to see from this webcam and i will see you in the next video i also want to take a moment to give a huge thanks and shout out to our recent patreon subscribers without you guys these videos would not be possible and i thoroughly appreciate your help visit patreon.com slash to learn more